Hi guys, welcome! In the upcoming Wheels of Alberta episode update, more equipment development content will be introduced, such as the new shadow equipment system and opening of the tier 5 upgrade attributes. And in this video, we'll talk about in detail the significant changes to the equipment system so that you can plan in advance which equipment you'll be using as main and shadow equipment. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. In the current equipment system of Ragnarok Eternal Love, the ancient equipment has fully replaced the old equipment system due to the simplicity of obtaining and upgrading them. In addition, the stat boosts from ancient equipment outweigh those from the original equipment system. Unfortunately, this produced certain issues because the stats from ancient equipment were oversimplified and the complexity of the original Ragnarok equipment system was compromised. Another problem is that it diminished the importance of hunting MVPs for equipment and materials. And thus to solve these issues, the developers of ROM decided to adapt the shadow equipment system. This is inspired by the original ROPC game wherein players will have an additional shadow equipment bar for offhand, armor, garment, footgear, and accessories. For each slot, players can wear one piece of ancient equipment in the main equipment bar and one piece of synthesized equipment in the shadow equipment bar or vice versa. But before you can place an equipment in the shadow equipment bar, it must first be infused with primary shadow magic ore, a new material obtainable from the new shadow secret realm instance. The percentage of stats inherited from shadow equipment will be based on the number of ores infused. The implementation of the shadow equipment system will be divided into three phases so that players can gradually upgrade the progress of their shadow equipment and avoid the problem of players having skyrocketed attributes. For the first phase, only the shadow equipment slots for offhand and garment will be opened and the maximum stats that you can get is only up to 15%. For the second phase, the shadow equipment slots for armor and footgear will be opened and the maximum stats that you can get is increased to 30%. And for the third and final phase, the shadow equipment slots for accessories will be opened and the maximum stats that you can get is increased to 50%. Hence, after the full implementation of the shadow equipment system, players can only inherit a maximum of 50% of the stats from the original equipment. Aside from the basic stats of the equipment, players also inherit a percentage of the enchantment attributes, including the fourth line enchantment. As an example, my Divine Feather Clothes with Arcane 4 enchant and 15% shadow progress will grant 1.2% magic damage increase. As for card effects, they will not activate if placed in a shadow equipment. As a demonstration, the effect of the Harpy Star card in my shadow garment is grayed out and has a red notice indicating that it is not activated. Aside from inheriting a percentage of stats, you'll also be able to activate the set effects of synthesized equipment even if placed in the shadow equipment bar. As you can see in this example, the set effect of Deerskin Manto and Green Rattan Shoes, which is 5% magic damage reduction, can be activated when Deerskin Manto is in the shadow equipment bar. When it comes to refining, the upper limit of the refinement level of the main and shadow equipment of the same part is 15, and thus the upper limit of refined damage reduction that you can get per slot is still 13.5%. Any refinement level exceeding plus 15 will be converted into 4000 points of base HP per level. Since base HP is a fixed stat, it is not subject to the percentage bonus effect from max HP% percent stat. Thus if you have a plus 15 main equipment, and a plus 15 shadow equipment, you'll get 13.5 refined damage reduction and additional 60,000 points of base HP. But do take note that this rule does not apply to the extra refining level increase caused by the Devalence Jade Ancient Relic, Lucky Alloy, and Holgrand's Hero Class skill. Before we continue on, I'd like to give special thanks to the sponsor of this video, Smalwan. Smile One is an international game top-up center which has been in business for almost a decade. They have hundreds of partnerships with game developers including Ragnarok Mobile so they can offer cheaper BCC and monthly premium versus in-game prices. Smile One Top Up is available in many countries across all servers and there are various payment methods you can choose from. Here in the Philippines, I can pay easily via Gcash, BPI, or 7-Eleven outlets and receive the BCC instantly. Please do check out Smile One's pricing and payment methods using my exclusive link in the description box below. 
Now that we know the basic rules of Shadow Equipment System, let's go through the new Tier 5 effects of Synthesized and Ancient Equipment. For Synthesized Equipment, the effect of the new Tier 5 upgrade aims to improve the survivability of players by adding skill mechanisms such as Immunity to Death, HP Shields, and a lot more. Here's a quick look on the Tier 5 effects of Synthesized Offhand and Garment. I think this new skill mechanism will impact the diversity of equipment choices. Internal cooldowns have been added so that players will not abuse this new system. However, take note that when synthesized equipment are placed in the shadow equipment bar, the tier 5 effect will only get activated when the shadow progress reaches 50%. So while we're still on the first phase of the implementation of shadow equipment, it might be better to use synthesized equipment as main equipment to benefit from the tier 5 effects. The materials needed to upgrade synthesized equipment to tier 5 are as follows. These are obtained by defeating the new Turtle Island monsters. As for ancient equipment, the tier 5 effect is geared towards increasing general attributes only. For ancient offhand, the tier 5 effects would increase physical penetration, magic penetration, max HP, or max SP. While for ancient garment, the tier 5 effects would boost auto attack damage, skill damage, or max HP. The materials needed to upgrade ancient equipment to tier 5 can only be obtained from the third Kamada dungeon called Ponape Secret Realm, which will be launched at a later date. It only has epic spirit difficulty which will probably be more challenging. On a future patch, other equipment will also get a tier 5 effect including weapons. This aimed to increase the damage output of each class by increasing general attributes as well as the utility of class skills. The developers only featured 5 examples but more will be coming in the future. So now that we know the basic mechanics of Shadow Equipment System and the tier 5 effects, let's answer some questions frequently asked by players. How can I unlock the Shadow Equipment Bar? After completing the first part of the Alberta Main Story Quest at base level 120, you'll unlock the Shadow Equipment System. In the Main Equipment Interface, you can tap the Equipment Page Switch button on the upper left corner to view the Shadow Equipment Bar. As you can see, the only slots open right now are for Offhand and Garment. How can I infuse my equipment with Shadow Progress? As mentioned earlier, clearing the new Shadow Secret Realm instance will grant primary Shadow Magic Ores which are needed to upgrade the progress of your Shadow equipment. To infuse this material to your equipment, just find Holgrahan in the city maps and tap the Shadow Equipment button which will open the Shadow Equipment interface. Right now, you can only upgrade a Shadow Equipment to 15% which costs a total of 20 primary Shadow Magic Ores and 6 million Zenny. Can the shadow progress of my equipment be reverted? The Pyrolyzing Stove has a restore function for equipment with shadow progress. However, only 80% of the primary shadow magic ores consumed will be restored. The restore function will also be useful if you're going to sell the equipment in exchange since an equipment with shadow progress cannot be listed in exchange. The shadow equipment require plus 15 refinement level. Refinement level is not required to use an equipment as shadow equipment. However, a high refinement shadow gear would still give a slight advantage such as additional base HP and additional stats which are dependent on the refinement level. Can my Thanatos use improved arm armor as shadow equipment? The job restriction rules for synthesized equipment also applies when they are placed in the shadow equipment bar and thus only the ninja class can equip improved arm armor as shadow gear. How can we obtain MVP equipment and materials if there are fewer channels now? To reduce the difficulty of obtaining MVP equipment and crafting materials, the Chaotic Invasion instance will be optimized so that players are guaranteed to get at least one equipment with random refinement level. You can now get equipment which are not commonly dropped by the MVPs. Void Territory will also have increased drop rate for MVP rewards. It's already difficult to get the perfect enchantment for ancient equipment. How can you expect us to get good enchantment on synthesized equipment? To answer the last question, the developers will be adding more methods of obtaining enchantment crystallization. 
the cat friend NPC will now be selling enchantment crystallization which costs more gold coins. Equine Corridor will also grant enchantment crystallization as additional clearance reward. There are also new items added to the enchantment crystal shop which grants level 2 and above enchantment coupon for a random part. Alright, so far we've gone through all the equipment development content coming in the Wills of Alberta episode update. I really look forward to the new tier 5 effects of synthesized equipment. How about you guys? What do you guys think of these changes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.